in this video I will briefly explain how to create a thin cell slab okay which is made of uh, uh, concrete so I will explain how to sketch and how to uh, you know uh, create uh, the part so let's get started so let's create part okay select parts double click on it you will see this window and here are some options 3d 2d planner asymmetric so i will select 3d deformable and here i will select cell because i want to model it using cell elements so i will click on cell select the cell and then type planner okay this size approximate size uh, this is this is you can give anything here just make an idea that uh, how big your model is like if your model is uh, 15 by 20 meter then you can say that uh, maximum 30 is enough window size okay approximate mess uh, approximate viewport size so this is not a uh, big thing so my model is uh, roughly 6 to 9 meter 6 by 9 meter or rectangle okay slab so I will select just uh, uh, 15 meter something like that okay I will uh, okay uh, now you can ask a question that I am repetitively uh, saying that 15 meters or why not inches or uh, mm okay so uh, make sure that you use a single unit system in throughout the simulation like if you are using you know inches and uh, uh, if you are using inches for length then make sure that every place is where length has an a rule it has a unit inches like if you are then uh, later uh, maybe you want to uh, somewhere uh, define uh, acceleration due to gravity then there will be uh, you won't be able to you should not use uh, meter per second square for acceleration right then you will have to use either foot per second square or uh, inches per a second square for acceleration right similarly uh, the unit must be consistent so I made a thumb rule that I will use SI units that's all okay everywhere I will use SI units okay so I will use uh, length uh, I will use meter for length kz for uh, mass and so on okay Newton for force so on okay then let's uh, okay let's go approximate size I have decided let's go uh, with 15 so I will click continue this is a sketch of window okay since our uh, our uh, plate is uh, rectangular so this is tool for creating rectangle click somewhere first point and second point okay that's all let's do once again okay just notice it double click on part deformable cell planner 15 continue okay click on rectangle tool you will see here that uh, abacus was some masses is sub direction to do something whatever you have to uh, you, you need to input or uh, give you need you need to give input or something it will show a masses what to do next right so as I select the rectangle tool it has said that pick a starting corner of the rectangle so I have click here 
and then pick the opposite corner of the rectangle okay let's click the opposite corner this is how we create rectangle because so now it is saying uh, another corner that means if you want to create another you know rectangle now I will not use uh, I, I don't want to create any other rectangle I will click cancel okay keep it is that now I have to dis uh, you know uh, I need to dimension it so for dimensioning this is the tool add dimension click select the entity to dimension let's select this just by hovering the mouse, mouse pointer on the uh, edge and left clicking selects it okay now it turns to red as I have drag without uh, holding the mouse button and clicked here okay now it says 3.5 meter I want it to 9 meters so I will give a 9 meter of length okay similarly I will add a dimension to this side also so uh, I will just left click and I will slide the mouse and just left click here now it is asking dimension value for this so I will uh, I will give it to 6 so my slab or my uh, part is 6 by 9 meters 6 by 9 okay now you can you know uh, just cancel it and click done here we go we have just created a cell part now notice uh, slab has some thickness but till now I haven't decided or I haven't given any thickness okay so this will be covered in next module which will be property module okay and I will cover it in next video